everyone and welcome to my latest video. I'm going to talk to you today about the humble potato and the, uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you at least three different ways of peeling a potato. Now you've obviously heard of potatoes, it's a very tasty and nutritious vegetable. Uh, they've been cultivated for thousands of years in South America but uh, they're a relatively recent introduction to Europe. They came to Southern Europe uh, with the Spanish uh, and were introduced to England by Francis Drake after his round-the-world trip uh, in the late 1500s. Interestingly though, they were not introduced to Ireland by the English but by Spanish uh, uh, fishermen who brought them over from Spain. Now, um, the common way of eating a potato, well there's numerous different ways. They can be boiled, they can be fried, they can be roasted in an oven, they can be roasted in oil, they can be roasted dry, they can be microwaved, numerous different ways. Now as I'm sure you're all well aware, the skins are edible. However, uh, many people don't like to eat the skins and peel them off, particularly if they're going to uh, mash them or roast them. Now, uh, the original type of peeler was probably something like this, a straightforward uh, a paring knife. However, uh, the most common type of peeler you see around today is something more like this. Now this is a, uh, a twin bladed uh, uh, peeler with a rotating head. It has a plastic handle. It has a, a point at the end which you can dig out um, rotten bits and eyes and things like that. And it's a safety peeler. You, you, you're not going to cut your hand on this unless you're really stupid and stick your fingers straight in the blades. Now this kind of peeler uh, I would call an Australian peeler, but I have no idea whether it's actually Australian. Uh, it's because I was first introduced to them in Australia, but you can buy them over here in England, so I have no idea whether they're Australian design or not. Now when you're peeling your potato, you've got to do something with the skins. So I have my handy local edition of the Dartford and Swanley News Shopper, which will be used to uh, um, wrap the uh, skins. So, I lay that out in front of me like that, and we'll uh, use the real estate section at the centre for um, wrapping the skins. Okay, these peelers are particularly simple to use and have a very even method of cutting the skin off the potato. So you hold it in your left hand, or if you're right-handed, you put it. If you're left-handed, you put it in your right hand. Whatever. Hold that in your other hand and just peel like this. Very, very straightforward. Cuts a very, very uh, simple. Um, uh, uh, it's a very, very simple method of peeling the potato. Cuts a very even amount of skin off the potato, and cuts the minimum amount of white flesh, so you don't lose any part of the potato that you want to eat, or at least you lose the absolute minimum. So, you're peeling that off uh, carefully like this. Uh, there's no chance of me um, running over and cutting myself like I might with a paring knife. Uh, it's very straightforward to peel like that and it makes a very, very neat job of the peeled potato. Okay, so that's that kind of peeler. But of course, they're relatively modern. In the olden times, people wouldn't have had that. They would have had knives like this. And these knives, of course, have been around since the Iron Age. So, uh, they've certainly been around as, uh, in Europe as long as potatoes have. God knows what the South Americans did, because before the Europeans came, the only metal they had was gold. Can you peel a potato with a gold knife? I don't know. I don't have to have one. But, we will now demonstrate peeling a potato with a paring knife. Okay, once again, here we go, another potato. Relatively straightforward, but this time the blade is not protected. So you have to be extremely careful. You still have the sharp point there for digging out the eyes, but it's now steel and will take your eye out if you're clumsy with it. It will also uh, easily sever an artery. So this blade along this edge here is extremely sharp, so you have to be extremely careful not to cut your thumb off whilst you're doing this. Now, some time ago, I read a story uh, which involved a young woman, newly married, who was being criticised by older married women uh, for peeling potatoes in such a way that she wasted a lot of the white flesh of the potato. Now I was very mystified by that story because I'd never heard of how, you know, using one of these type peelers, which is the only one I'd ever done at the time. 
I, you always got the same amount of skin off. So I, I, knew, I had no idea what they were talking about. I now realise that this story, which was said about 50 or 60 years ago, refers to them using a paring knife to peel a potato. And with that, you can definitely get a much more mixed thickness of skin. So you hold the potato once again in your left hand, or in your right hand if you're left-handed. You hold the blade like that, right, with your thumb, and you dig gently into the potato at a very uh, uh, light angle. I don't know, what would you say that? An acute angle. And you try to get the minimum amount of skin and flesh off each time as you run the blade through the flesh of the new potato. Now, of course, if you dig too deeply, you can cut a great big fat chunk of potato off, which you don't want to do, because you want, uh, you, you're going to be discarding this, so you don't want to cut much of the white flesh off. You have to be very careful. You don't want to slip and slice the um, end off your thumb. So you very carefully peel it with your paring knife, uh, peel it, uh, taking the knife away from your thumb before it actually reaches the thumb so that you don't cut yourself and bleed into your potato. Of course, you do have a handy uh, page of absorbent news shopper to soak up the blood should you actually cut yourself. Now let's do the rest of this skin very quickly with this uh, paring knife. Yeah, very, very simple. A couple of little eyes there, which I can get out like that with the sharp point. Oh yeah, a bit more there. Right, and there we go. It's cruder, but you know, people must have been peeling potatoes in that way for hundreds of years, and in South America, God knows, for thousands. Okay, so, now I'm going to show the third method. Now, imagine that you are the, a British Tommy, or an Australian digger, in the trenches in France in the First World War. You don't have a paring knife, or well, maybe you've got some kind of pen knife, but you're not likely to have one of these. So, how do you peel your potato? You've got your potato, which you've obtained either from the canteen, maybe it's been issued to you, maybe you nicked it from a field, maybe you bought it from a farmer, who knows, but you're sitting in the trench and you need to peel your potato. So what have you got to peel a potato with? Well, probably not a paring knife, certainly not a peeler, but what you do have is one of these. 18 inch steel bladed bayonet with a wooden handle. There's plenty of these around, everybody got one, and so now I'm going to demonstrate how you can peel your potato with your bayonet. Now the procedure is pretty much identical uh, to uh, using a paring knife. You just have to be a little bit more careful that you don't kill somebody with the point, or take your eye out whilst you're doing this. The blade at the close end to the handle is blunt, so you have to run it um, through uh, at a higher part of the blade, but it's certainly possible if you're the poor bloody infantry stuck with your potato in the trench waiting uh, for something to happen to peel your potato with your bayonet. It's certainly perfectly possible in the same way as you would do it with your paring knife. Now this is a bit clumsier and does tend to take off more of the skin but it does actually work. These blades are fairly sharp. This one hasn't been uh, sharpened, at least not by me, so perhaps not since it was actually being used as a wartime bayonet. Now, uh, but it works just the same way, taking off the skin in exactly the same way as a paring knife. Uh, right, oh, oh, let's do that, let's do that. It's cruder, but it does actually work. Once again, you have to be careful not to drive the blade so far down the potato that you cut off your thumb, uh, uh, or do any other damage, wave the blade around, stick it in your eye, or anything stupid like that. All right, peeling my potato. Right, okay, just a little bit more left to do. And this is definitely more difficult than with a paring knife or, or a pen knife. But, oh, there we go. And I've got the blade there to dig out any eyes. Yep. 
Oh, oh, yeah, here we go, there's an eye there. Right, okay. So, one peeled potato, peeled with the 18 inch wartime First World War bayonet. Thank you very much, and thank you for listening.